Alongside the release of Temporal Forces on March 22nd, we will be getting two new deluxe battle decks. The first one is Zapdos EX. I did a preview for that already. Make sure to go, go on the YouTube channel. I'll put a link in the description here so you can find this one as well. But today, we are going to be covering Nine Tails EX, which admittedly is a baffling pick for the deluxe battle deck treatment, but we'll see what we can squeeze out of it. I'm Jet from InThirdPerson.com. Make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and let's talk about Nine Tails EX within the context of the deluxe battle deck. Now, Nine Tails is a stage one Pokemon, 260 HP. It's got two attacks, one Heat Wave, 30 plus your opponent's active Pokemon is now burned. Not very good. You're never going to use this unless you're in an absolute emergency. Maybe it takes out a Roaring Moon or something like that. But really, we're playing this for Mirrored Flames for one fire, one colorless energy, does 80 damage. And if you have the same number of cards in your hand as your opponent, this attack does 140 more damage. So 220 base, which is, it's fine. That's that's a good number to knock out a lot of basic EXs and Pokemon V. You're going to be a bit short trying to knock out a Roaring Moon or an Iron Hands, which is a problem. However, if you can pull off the combo... You've got Rapidash in here as well, a 4-3 line of Rapidash, where it's got the Heat Boost ability. Once during your turn, you can discard a Fire Energy, and your Fire Pokemon's attacks do plus 30 damage. If you happen to set up all three Rapidashes, and you discard three Energy, and you attack with the Vulpix, or the, the Rapidash, and you have the exact same number of cards as your opponent, uh, you are doing... 310 damage, which is a lot. You're going to one-shot even Mew VMAX at that point, but... It is hard enough just to get the exact same number of cards as your opponent in the first place. There are a couple of cards that help out, but it's a really tricky combo to pull off. Let's go and dig into the, the deck list here. We've got a 4-3 line of Vulpix and Ninetales. We've got a 4-3 line of the Ponyta and Rapidash. And we also have two Paldean Taurus here. And admittedly, I think these are complete. These are cannon fodder because you're never going to put two energy. You're not, not going to burn two attachments to get Raging Horns in play to at most do 140 damage. This thing's just going to get knocked out. It's really here just to get knocked out while you're setting up Vulpix. I would not recommend attacking with anything else in this deck other than Ninetales EX. For trainer cards, we've got three copies of Youngster. You shuffle your hand into your deck, then draw five cards. There are better shuffle draw cards in the game, such as Judge, such as Iono, such as Roxanne. There are a lot of other cards you can pick other than this. I would take these out as soon as you can. Three copies of Judge, which is really important in the context of this deck. Both players shuffle their hands into their deck and draw four cards. This helps you get the exact number of cards in order to get the maximum damage with Ninetales. However, this has to be the last card in your sequence, right? You can't play Judge and then play another card because then you will ruin the combo and then you're screwed. So keep that in mind when you are playing Judge. One cop or two copies of Jacques lets you grab two evolution Pokemon, put them into your hand and shuffle your deck. Not the worst card in the world, but there are better Pokemon search options out there. I know this deck has Nest Ball and Ultra Ball in there, but if you really need more than that, stuff like capturing Aroma could be helpful here. Um, energy retrieval, get to have two energy from your discard pile, put them back into your deck. This is another great way of manipulating your hand where you can play it, grab two energy to get an extra card in your deck, or you can just brick on it to go minus one. Palpad lets you get two supporter cards from your discard pile and put them back into your deck. Again, another way to manipulate your hand size while also getting access to judge or whatever other cards to try and match hands. Jubilee Village is the only stadium here, which I think is a miss. Once during your turn, uh, you can play, you can shuffle your, play this, you can shuffle your hand into your deck, draw five cards, that ends your turn. It's not necessarily the worst, and you do get a fresh set of five cards, but it does, it ends your turn, you're not attacking at that point, and there are more effective stadiums you could put, put into this deck, such as Magma Basin is probably the biggest misnomer here. We do have four copies of Nest Ball to get our basics down, three copies of Professor's Research, discard our hand, and draw seven. I personally would prefer, if you're watching this, like, Okay, so this is coming out post-rotation, so Copycat uh, at this point in time will have rotated out, but if you plan on playing this beforehand, you definitely want four copies of Copycat, which lets you draw equal to the number of cards your opponent has. Let me pull that up. I wasn't actually ready to talk about Copycat, but if you're going to upgrade a Ninetales deck, you definitely want to have four copies of this card. 
one copy of Super Odd to get up to three Pokemon or basic energy back into the deck. Any combination that totals up to three. Zisu is a card we don't see at all in competitive play, but it kind of makes sense here in the Ninetales deck where you get to draw cards until you have one more card in your hand than your opponent. This is really nice because you can still play one card. Like you need to attach that extra energy. You need to evolve Ninetales and Zisu lets you draw up to get you close enough to get that combo and then play one more for the finish there two copies of ultra ball discard two cards grab a pokemon of our choice two copies of switch to pivot something into the active from the bench and three copies of earthen vessel you discard a card draw two cards again great way of getting energy but also another way to manipulate your cards to try and get the same number of cards from mirrored flames last but not least we've got 13 fire energy and this deck is not the most consistent deck, but if you are planning on, on picking this up or playing it or upgrading a Ninetales deck, uh, at least in this one, you are basically trying to attack with Mirrored Flames every single time. And so you're going to need to attach energy and to all of your Vulpixes on every turn and try and make sure you've got exactly the same number of cards you're hitting for at least 220. Ideally, with the Rapidash discarding energy, you're hitting for even more than that. And yeah, the Tauros here is strictly cannon fodder. You're not going to attack with this ever. And that's, that's kind of all this deck can do. And you're going to see these matches here. There, there are some, some big highs. There are some big lows. And I think overall, the power of this deck level of this deck is very low. It's fun to play casually. And it's kind of cool when you hit the, the combos and you get the exact same number of cards. But like it's it's pretty inconsistent and the payoff is not that great. And you will see in this video some highs. We did take out at least one sort of meta deck and then got absolutely embarrassed by some off meta stuff because this deck IMO just does not have what it takes to to keep up in the current meta. And even if this was fully upgraded, I still would not recommend this deck. But in case you're interested, in case Ninetales is your favorite Pokemon and, and you want to buy this deck and you want to do more research anyways, by all means, go ahead. <laughs> At the very least, the matches here are interesting slash entertaining, especially if you like watching me lose. Let's get to these matches. Uh, possibly Chen Pao. Oh no. So we're gonna get hit for weakness here on top of just playing a bad deck. Do we just scoop? Okay, let's see what they have. Like maybe they have an absolute dumpster fire of a, a starting hand here. We do get a Vulp. This is actually a pretty good, it's a pretty decent setup. Oh, no, we don't want that one. We want the Ponyta. We need another energy. That is the big problem here. Okay. Let's see if we can overcome what is almost... Oh, my God. Battle VIP pass. Okay. Almost certainly going to be a nightmare matchup for us. If we can get the exact same number of cards, we could blast them, right? We could blast them for 220 and ooh, but can we get to a point where we have the exact same number of cards? That is the, the million dollar question here. And if we can, they're going to play in iron hands here too. Ugh, they have five cards. Okay. If we can top deck. Okay. Let's go and Pokestop here first. Oh, I needed that energy in the worst way. I needed that energy in the worst way. Um, Let's go and get rid of... Actually, let's get rid of... It doesn't matter. We're going to research our hand anyway. Let's go and grab another Ninetales. And now we have to find an energy and get rid of one more card. Well, I guess we... Yeah. Let's see. Okay, we can get energy, right? We can hit the combo here. How many cards do we have in hand? I can't actually see on my screen here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Oh, we're still going to get the KO. So we don't have to... 
I can just swing for 80. That's fine. That's fine. Okay. Okay. We're in there. We're in there. Let's go. If we can get an energy, one energy, and just knock out this Chen Pao, I think we have a shot. I think we have a shot. They're not attacking us right now. Okay. They're going to get a Frigabax down. If we could boss up the Frigabacks, if we top deck boss, that would be so funny. Please. 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 They're going to have seven cards in hand. See, the big trade-off, potential trade-off here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, is that if we want to stay exactly... Okay, eight cards. Ooh. Zizu would help us here. Zizu would help us. No, not the escape rope. That's actually terrible. Um. No, we need... <sighs> That's bad. That's bad. Okay. Um, what can we do here? What can we do? Man, this deck completely falls apart too. <laughs> then again, like a well-timed escape rope can can do damage on a lot of different things. Oh, I shouldn't have played. So we have Let's poke stop. See what we can get. Okay, we get a switch. That's good. Um, they have exactly five cards. Youngster gives us exactly five cards. Now, if I get rid of... Yeah, we have to. Okay. Let's go and get rid of a Jacques and a Rapidash here. Let's go grab a... We don't... We've prized the other Ninetales? Are you kidding me? Okay, we're going to put down the Paldean Tauros as cannon fodder here. And we are going to Youngster, and we cannot play any other cards. I would love to play other cards, but we have to play it just to knock them out. And now if they knock us out, we're just dead. This deck completely falls apart. Please don't have it. Please don't have the combo. Okay, great. Please don't have it. Stay at exactly... Oh, you're, they're going to at least draw... Oh, they're going to counter catch her? What are they going to counter catch her? Probably the one that doesn't have energy on it, right? Oh. 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 Okay, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Um, oh, no, we get Iono the, si the four? Oh, no, this is bad. This is bad. Okay, okay, we should have knockout on Chen Pao right now. Right, we end our turn on Judge, and we might actually be able to win this. Now, interesting, they're using energy retrieval right now considering and they can only get three back well they can get the the other four that were already in there but do they have do they have back scalibur right now if they don't okay okay we can win this we can absolutely win this okay so the way we're gonna do this we're gonna get the nine tails up and we are i could do I, okay let's show the extra damage here and JF Raptor, thank you so much for renewing your sub. Much appreciated. We're going to give both players both four cards. Four. <laughs> and we're going to swing for 250 damage. Let's go. Okay. 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 <laughs> Please. 
please. Can we set up the combo? Okay, they're going to get Baxcalibur set up. But they're going to have a hard time moving Iron Hands out of the active. If we can one-shot Iron Hands, we win the game. If we can one-shot Iron Hands, we win the game. Please, please. Now we need some other pieces, right? We have to discard an energy. We have to get some other stuff to make this work. But assuming they finish with exactly five cards in hand, and they may not. Let's let's see what they get. They they probably only one run run one lightning energy, right? So okay, they get it down to three. Okay, they're going to have five cards in hand. Hold on. Let's see how many cards they have. Because we have some outs here. We can get rid of two energy pretty easily. We can get our hand down. Right now, they're not attacking. Okay, now they can amp you very much. That's fine. Oh, man. Pokédad, thank you so much for the sub. Truly appreciated. If they're going to... Are we going to... Okay, the three cards. Three cards. We just need three cards. I'm sorry for the... Okay, hold on. Uh, three cards in hand. So, let's go and heat boost. Get one down. Right? Uh, we are going to brick on the nest ball. Yep. We're going to attach an energy to... Uh, hold on. So, we have exactly... We have 110. Do we Poke Stop first or do we Youngster first? Okay. Oh, hold on. There. Okay. So that's four. Three. And then 250 damage. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> we got to win with the Nine Tails deck. Oh my God. <laughs> I was not expecting that. Okay. <laughs> Against a water deck, no less. Oh, man. Okay. Um, for the purpose... To, okay. Okay. So, if, look. If you're, buy, if you're looking to buy the Nine Tails deck, that is not what's going to happen most of the time. That's not what's going to happen most of the time, especially against the water deck. We happen to get really lucky against the inconsistencies of Chen Pao at the beginning of the game. And Nine Tails, to be fair, we were able to, to manage our hand in a way that got us the Mirrored Flames attacks when we needed them. And we did get to knock out a Chen Pao. We even got to knock out an Iron Hands in that last sequence, doing massive damage one hit KO, and again, if you're playing this deck most of the time, it's not going to do that. But in an absolute best case scenario, this is kind of what you are playing for. So, um, you know, fingers crossed, pray to Laura's Arceus that you can hit that every single time. I don't know if I'm ever going to be able to do that ever again, but we'll take it. GG's. <laughs> Terrakian. Okay. Okay. Let's go see what we have here. We've got two nine tails. So we've prized one. We've got a decent amount. We've prized some judge. Yeah, we've prized some judge, which is problematic. Youngsters. Yeah, they kind of not liking that, that whole situation there. But okay, let's see. All right. I don't know how they're accelerating energy to the. The Terrakian with the Cavern tab, tab right now. Okay, we get Io Node, so it is what it is. You love these challenges? Well, for welcome, Lil Tone. Welcome back. I, I'm not cut out for this life, homie. <laughs> okay, at least we're going to get a Ninetales here. Oh, thank you so much for the bits. 
Yeah, the Tarakian's not doing anything right now. Can we get the exact number of cards? The more they whittle this down, the more that it actually is likely that we can make something happen here. Here comes the Garchomp. Now, the Garchomp is going to hit us for weakness. And if they get the Garchomp rolling, we're just dead. There's the Ninetales. We don't have to burn anything there. Okay, we switch. Uh, we have... Okay, so let's go Artisan for a, a Vulpix here. And all we have to do is bench the Tauros and we swing for 220. KO. Now they need to have the out to the energy and, and everything else in order to knock us out. Do they have it? If they have it, we're screwed. Like, we're not going to be able to one-shot a Garchomp, even if we had all of our resources available to us. So... Okay, we're going to get Iono. That's a little bit of a problem here, but that does mean that they... They don't have... They don't got it like that. And if they don't, we still one-shot a Gibble. Okay. Um, yeah, it looks like they still... Uh-oh. They probably get a B-Barrel here unless they have a rare candy in hand. If they if they get the Garchomp... Like, we're just dead, right? If they ever get the Garchomp rolling, we just lose. You're liking Raging Bolt EX? All right. Okay, so we have... Oh, there's Judge. Okay, Judge is great. Judge is great. We get to go and attach energy. And is it worth... I think we might as well burn the nest ball to grab ourselves a Ponyta. And do we have... Yeah, we have... Okay. Yeah, we'll get the Ponyta to try and get the extra damage. Though damage doesn't really matter in this context. And we can Judge... Shuffle up their hand. Hopefully give them pieces they cannot work with. And we swing for 220. Yeah, long neck. Absolutely. Now, we could be in trouble here. If they have the pieces... If they have the pieces... Right? They are looking for... And they can just keep... Ro like, they just need one Garchomp. They can keep trotting these out over and over again. Okay, they're going to play Path to the Peak. And that doesn't matter because we don't have anything... <laughs> that That is going to benefit from that. They can drop two cards. Like, we don't even need... If they don't get... Oh, Countercatcher. Probably Countercatcher up the... Yeah, the Tauros. That's unfortunate, but if anything is going to get hit, I would rather it be the Tauros. Hmm. I don't know if we're going to be able to make this work we if they get garchomp set up we just lose okay they bite for for 20. and i don't think we can afford to not put energy on the vulpixes if we want to stand a chance here oh okay here we go so, they've got four cards. Oh, th that doesn't matter. That's perfect. We have five. This gives us four cards. And yeah, we just swing for 220 again. We are getting so lucky right now. Okay, we have Judge. Please don't have it like that. Please. Please. 
No! That sucks. That sucks. At this point, like, I don't... How do we win? I mean... Okay, this isn't necessarily... Wait, why did they attach the energy to the Riolu? Why did they attach the Riolu? That feels like a mistake. That feels like a mistake. Okay. Okay. Okay, we're back in this. We're back in this. The stream are so lucky. You missed the first half of the stream. We lost for the first two hours in a row. <laughs> Stream more luck so they misclick. Uh. Okay, we can still at this point we can still win. We can still if we can two shot the Garchomp, then we we take the win here. If we could boss up the Garchomp, that would be incredible. I don't know if we're gonna get the opportunity to do that, but. New player, I. You like. We hope you don't drop the combo. Mm. Okay. So I can go and get us down to four, right? If I go and discard. I could play. I don't want to play Judge right now, though. If I go and Earthen Vessel into. If I Earthen Vessel into one card, I think that's enough. Yeah, we just swing for 220. I want to hold on to Judge. I want to hold on to Youngster. And we take the KO here. And Calface, thank you so much for renewing your sub. Now they're going to rare can't. They get a second Garchomp set up. This is actually bad because now they can just rotate between the two. Oh, no. Oh, and we get Iono down to two cards. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I mean, we get energy, but we don't have anything else. This is bad. This is absolutely not what we were hoping for. They oh, man. Garchomp is not that good. I agree. We covered Garchomp on the channel a couple of days ago on the YouTube. And it was kind of a struggle, but we're going to lose. We're going to lose right now. I have, we got, I mean, they're hitting us for weakness. So that's a, a massive downside for us. And we can only do so much about that. Um, but they've also very quickly built up the Lucario. And we, <laughs> if we could have kept our rhythm and and been able to two shot a garchomp but unfortunately we are bricking so incredibly hard right now and there's not a lot more we can do at the moment other than just sit here and eat it oh and they're gonna slam i mean path to the peak doesn't matter these decks aren't built with Path in mind, they've got enough energy on the Lucario to one-shot the Ninetales if we ever get that out. Like, this game's done. This game is absolutely toast. And, like, we were already at a massive disadvantage for the fact that they hit Water Weakness. But, like, at a certain point, if you cannot hit the combo, you're, you're going to be toast. <laughs> and we can play this out, like... Okay, here, we'll attach an energy to the Ponyta. Let's judge. Maybe we get something here. No. Uh, no. This isn't it. So, uh, we take down... We can't even attack. Ugh. 
Yeah, this is this is depressing, but it is what it is. We were already at a massive disadvantage. We got off to an early lead, but really all they had to do was get one Garchomp rolling and they could absolutely stomp us out. Uh, not sure. We might keep this in the video just to showcase like, I think there are still challenges with this deck besides being weak to water, which I don't even think is that big of a deal in the current meta. Water decks are not, they are not the play right now. So they have five cards. Right? No, they're gonna have six, five cards. Right? Like we need, we need the top deck. I need the top deck a out to Vulpix. Oh, okay. Does that change anything? Okay, if we go Jacques, right? And we go and grab ourselves our nine tails. And we're gonna lose. We're gonna lose. But I think at this point, the exercise is can we play our cards out in a way that lets us match our opponent's deck so five and yes we can theoretically yes we can to the detriment of not being able to accelerate energy um wait one two three four i didn't even get the math right there uh so we'll just swing for 80 and we'll we'll call it ggs Ugh. yeah go take your win go take your win i screwed that up i screwed that up we could have hit for 220 it doesn't matter. We were going to lose anyway. They're probably going to style on us, bring in the Lucario to one-shot the Ninetales. That's what I would do. Nope, they're just going to hide your lander. Okay, that's fine. Um, I think we've actually done a decent job of stringing together the combo, like the pieces to get consistent attacks, but it's very flimsy as we've seen here. I mean, that, that time, that was my fault. Fine. And we were also getting hit for weakness. Fine. Against another deck, we would probably have an easier time. But I think that it's... We can showcase some of the, the challenges of trying to make the combo work. And sometimes you can hit it. Sometimes you can't. And that time, it, it kind of didn't matter because we were just getting blasted <laughs> for weakness anyway. Um, we'll leave it in here for, for the sake of the discussion. GG's. Oh, yeah, this is absolutely Charizard. Okay. I don't think we stand a chance here. We can try. Okay, they've got a... Gr okay. Okay. If this is starter deck... This is starter deck, then we have to play this for science. We, ha we have to play this for science. We have to play this for science. And PGH Adam says playing the battle deck is like playing an entirely different game than the current standard deck. Absolutely. Absolutely. I left to my own devices. I would never do this. However, I also have a YouTube channel and part of why the channel has the success that it is, is that I, I cover these decks, any, any sort of pre-made deck that is borderline usable on something like a PTCG live, um, I play it and we, we figure out how to make it work and like win or lose. Yeah. Let's go in Zizu here and we get two more cards. We get a nine tails. That's nice. Um, I think we wait. Do we wait? No. Yeah, we hold on to our cards here. We hold on to our cards. Yeah, I cover the decks as is because there's an audience of people that are want to see how these pre-made products work. Usually newer players that are trying to get into the Pokemon trading card game and they they see here's this pre-made deck. How how does it work? And in certain instances, like the league battle decks, I can usually scrape together a couple of wins and uh, play that way. However, for for these deluxe battle decks where they're very much not as strong as... Oh man, Arcanine's going to one-shot us, isn't it? This does, what, two, 250? Okay, it's 10 short. 10 short. And they're going to get the Turbo Energize. Oh my goodness. Okay, we are in trouble. We, if we want to knock this out, we have to get two... If we, we want to like 
live. <laughs> we need to get two Ninetales set up here. So we get a Ninetales. That's fine. Uh, can we get the five cards? We have one, two, three, four, five, six. We have five. Now, it doesn't matter if we have five right now. Um, because, yeah, we're going to one-shot this anyway. And... I want to... Is it worth getting a Vulpix down right now to try and have something assuming... Earthen, let's go Earthen Vessel away this. And I know I've pretty much lost my ability to... to hit for... Yeah, we have exactly 220. I don't want that, though. If we get rid of the energy... We can at least get a nine tails on the board, which is what, or a Vulpix on the board. And we can evolve up afterwards. And you know what? Let's actually play that now. And we can go and grab two cards and try and build our hand back up to, to beat this. But I don't think we're going to. Let's go see. Okay, we got a Ponyta. We can at least evolve up the Ponyta and the Rapidash, but like we need to top deck something like Professor's Research or something, or we're screwed. I mean, they have to discard two energy, to be fair. But it's not looking great. Mr. Bartman, welcome back. How you doing? Yeah, this is pretty much the starter deck, the fire starter fire deck that comes with the. Yeah, man, we have done a number on our ELO trying to play these decks as is, and we're still going to lose. That's the depressing part here. They're going to do 250 and we can't. We can't do anything right now. Like I can hit it for 80, but then that unlocks Raging Claws and that's going to do enough so there's an argument to be made that let them although they could just also hit for raging claws for 30 yeah and then they're gonna knock us out with the next one assuming we don't get we need the top deck okay we have to top deck a fire energy right here or we're screwed Oh, well, we need to top deck a bunch of things, but <laughs> um, do we? I don't think we can go in with the nine tails on the next turn. I think we, that would be absolutely irresponsible of us. Yeah, the fact that they're building up Radiant Charizard at this point. <sighs> can we top deck a research? A Magma Basin's actually kind of great. That gives us the opportunity to charge up this Ninetales. Although it does also put us in a position where they can one-shot. If we build up that way, they can one-shot us with either the Charizard or the Arcanine. Yeah, we have to top deck Prey for Professor's Research here if we want to stand a chance. And they're going to start building up. They probably put down another Charmander, right? Yeah. Ugh. The highs and lows of this deck. Yeah, this is. I'm almost certain that our opponent is playing the default Arcanine deck, and we do not have what it takes to topple even this. Like, we're going to try our best, and maybe I could have sequenced this a little differently. Um, we'll put some energy on here and is it worth even yeah sure let's go and attach energy to the the rapidash here and we'll pray and there's no point in there's no point in evolving up okay we will stall for time and hope for yeah we can evolve on the next turn 
Now, if they they hard retreat into this, then then we have a bit of a problem. They are just going to build up the Radiant Charizard. I mean, why wouldn't they at this point? But it's... Ugh. And it's kind of a shame. Like, I... I for, like, of the decks, that's an interesting choice that they're going to go and bring this one in. Because they are... 30... Oh, yeah, they're going to one-shot this Rapidash. That's terrible. If they get the other energy on. If they get the other energy on. I don't know if they will. No, they won't. Okay. Okay. Research, please. Okay, 60 damage is... Not nothing. But... It is... Yeah, we're gonna have to fire main here. For... For 60. Wow, this is... And we have no cards. Like, we can't... We can't realistically follow up with much of anything. After this. Yeah, this deck is sc <laughs> scuffed AF. <sighs> can they... Can we get an Iono? Can we get a Judge? Like, anything? If you're watching this on on YouTube, like why? <laughs> I think I think it's it's clear to see that the we got lucky on that first match, and this is just kind of Iron Moth. What are we even doing here? Fallen by the wayside. Yeah, the Radiant Charizard is built out like we research and pray. We research and pray. And they, they had research for themselves. Oh, man. I... Oh, and they hit Rare Candy Zard, so they're only doing half? They only need half the cost? Oh, we're so dead. We are so dead. <laughs> Again, yeah, Iron Moth is not part of the default deck. So they've, they've modified this a bit, but it's not far off from the default Arcanine deck. And here we are getting absolutely obliterated we have no cards and um to be fair any deck can brick any deck can find themselves in a position where you just have nothing going on i i think the the important thing to note here is that this is a very combo heavy deck that requires a lot of pieces a lot of moving parts and when you don't have those bits like it's just gonna be bad like this and there are other decks that don't have nearly as much to worry about as this one does and yeah we're gonna put some energy on the vulpix and we will sit here and and die a slow painful death i don't even know if it's worth playing this out like we can just top deck for science see what the rest of this is um if you're watching this on youtube what's your what's your favorite deck right now what's your favorite color let me know in the comments what your your favorite color like they're just anything bring up a conversation subject i think we have to show this like to just kind of show the the good and the bad of this deck and I think the, the the match you saw first, the Chen Pao, was like the absolute pinnacle of what this deck can do. The the Garchomp match, like we were under unfortunate circumstances with them hitting for weakness. And we still made a decent run, all things considered. But this is the ugly side of this Ninetales deck where we just have nothing going on and we will die a horrible... Uh, it absolutely insufferable death. Oh, I can't even hit the confusion. I can't even hit the confusion. Wow. <laughs> oh, man. 
What's funny is that like the Twitch viewership is at an all time high watching the stream at its absolute lowest point. <laughs> Thank you to everybody who's chosen to, to watch this absolute dumpster fire. Um, you can watch it again on YouTube later this week, though. I, I would not. I did. Yeah. Turn off the, guys. Y'all seen this. <laughs> You like your Chen Pao deck as long as you actually get the energy recycling working, but it's a bit unpredictable, so you've been trying out it. Zard is so much better. <laughs> yeah, our opponent's just messing around. There's no way we're getting 10 cards out here, and we're getting absolutely stomped out by what's basically the default deck in Pokemon TCG Live. Okay. You're playing Zard for Liverpool? Fantastic. Okay. We're all the way down to this. Okay, Judge, let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Okay, I can't play any more cards, but we get the knock. Nothing here is going to knock us out. Not even the Radiant Charizard. Not even the Radiant Charizard. Okay, let's go. <laughs> oh, man. So we get one last kick at the can here. They're going to hit for 250. Um, they, they've got us in checkmate regardless. But if we can take out one more prize, I would be happy. I would be happy. Yeah, they're going to build. Oh, they're going to build up the other Charizard to attack. Can we get our cards to have the exact same number so we can one shot this Radiant Charizard? Then I will gladly lose and we will move on with our lives. Right? Okay. They get another Growlithe down. Is there a world where we could have won this? Probably. I mean, there probably was a world where we take back to back one shots on Arcanines with the 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 rapid dash is set up but this is this is embarrassing <laughs> okay so they they magma basin sure they're going to get some extra energy on the goal here the moral victory is can we get one more ko that's all i want that's all i want so they've got exactly four cards. We can get the four cards. We brick on, can we get the four cards? If we brick on retrieval, right? If we brick on retrieval, oh, I have to take at least one. Oh no. Okay, I screwed that up. I screwed that up. Let's try this again. So uh, we attach an energy. Um, can we? Up to two basic energy cards, right? So we have four. Can I just not choose one? Yes. Okay. So we can hit for 220 here. We're going to lose. That's fine. But at least we showed that we can hit the combo. We made a little bit of a last ditch. <laughs> last ditch attack. I was actually not expecting that. So I'm kind of glad that we did get that in there into the video. And we will lose somewhat valiantly. Though embarrassingly getting absolutely stomped out by essentially a starter deck like this iron moth is not this this is nothing yeah they're they're okay just do the thing just do the thing Vulpix mvp yeah <laughs> Okay, why is our opponent taking? Come on, man. You literally just have to hit the attack button. If they if they do like one more action that isn't an attack, then we just scoop. Okay. Just do it. Just do it. Okay, we're done. We're done. You you get the win. Fine. You 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 absolutely embarrassed me with your your starter deck. Um Yeah, that that sucks. That absolutely sucks. Kind of hilarious that we we did make that last salvo. 
uh, fire off that last salvo at the end to make it somewhat close, but really this was not close. This is such a combo heavy deck that requires so many pieces to even get decent damage out, let alone the potential max damage between the nine tails and the rapid dashes hitting a whole bunch. And we were absolutely embarrassed by what would essentially amounts to the starter Arcanine deck in PTCG Live. So this is kind of the the, the the ebbs and flows of what this deck can and cannot do between all of the matches you've seen here today. GG's. And there we go. That is a look at the Ninetales EX Deluxe Battle Deck. Some some really high highs. Taking out that Chen Pao deck was really cool. Uh, really unfortunate circumstances that we couldn't shut down the Garchomp deck any sooner. And the, the loss against what is effectively the starter deck, the starter fire deck in PTCG Live was absolutely miserable and i i think we we kind of show extreme ends in this video of what can happen i i would think that when playing this deck against live competition competitive players even in casual matchmaking the your matches are probably going to look like more like match two and match three versus match one so take all of that with a grain of salt i don't think this deck has much in the way of competitive viability. It's fun if you really like manipulating your cards to try and build that combo to match. Uh, that that's, that is that is here for you. But I have a hard time recommending this deck to anyone just because at its current, the way it's currently built, it's not very strong. And even when fully built out, it's still not gonna be very strong. But hey, if Ninetales is your favorite Pokemon or you just want this deck anyway, by all means, go for it. But what say you? What do you think about Ninetales EX? Let me know in the comments below. But for now, I got to get going. Thank you so much for watching. You can find me on all the things, YouTube, TikTok, Twitter, and Instagram, at In Third Person. You can find me on Twitch, at In Third Person, where I stream the Pokemon trading card game every Sunday at 10 a.m. Eastern Time. And check out the website, InThirdPerson.com, for more articles and videos on video games, board games, and other nerdy pursuits. So until the next one, I'll see you later. Bye-bye. <laughs>